What's up everybody? Today I am up at my grandpa's house and we're going to be helping him build a brand new computer. He's got an old computer that um, he used for his work a long time back, but um, some of the capacitors blew on the motherboard recently and he wants to try and get the hard drives that he already had to work with a new one. So I'm gonna kind of kind of show you guys what we're looking at here. This is a Corsair, Corsair Vengeance C70 computer case. Um, screws are all in this box that came in on the hard drive trays. This is the hard drive from the old computer. That's a USB card that he had lying around he wants to try and put in. But this stuff, this is where we get to the goodness. Got a Corsair RM650i, 650 watt, uh, A plus gold power supply. Um, Western Digital 2 terabyte desktop. Or desktop hard drive, there we go. Um, Windows 10 Professional, Microsoft Office Home and Student 2016. A Samsung NVMe SSD, 500 gigs, 64 gigs of DDR4, um, an Asus Prime, X370 Pro, and AMD Ryzen 7. There's a 7 on here somewhere. There we go. Ryzen 7. And finally, to top it all off, an MSI GTX 1060. This is the 6 gig version. It's VR ready. DirectX 12, all the good stuff. So I'm super excited to get on with this build. Let me guys show you what he's coming from here. But I've already taken it apart and taken the drives out, but this is an old Dell workstation. Um, it had two CPU slots, um, four RAM slots, as you can see, set up there. And the drives were all set up here. But if you look right here, you can see those capacitors are blown, so this computer is not usable. So we're gonna hope that the hard drive still works and we're going to put that in the new computer, maybe set up a dual, either a dual um, operating system setup or see if we can make like a virtual machine. But yeah, it should be fun guys, so stay tuned and hopefully make a pretty awesome computer today. So the guy that my grandpa knows from work is gonna be coming over and helping with this build, especially the um, dual system part of it uh, is a little bit late. So I'm, while he's not here, I'm gonna kind of show you guys how far technology's come. Uh, I've took, taken out a couple of the more exciting components um, from this ancient beast. It's not ancient, it's only 2003. 20 years old, basically. It's uh, not 20. You said it was 2001 earlier. This, guys, is a graphics card. I have like, proof right here. I don't even know what that is. It's not PCI, it's not PCI Express, I don't know what it connects to. This was the port that it was in. This one, with this thing attached to it right here. I don't know what any of that is supposed to do or be, but apparently that was a thing long, long ago. <laughs> it has uh, two, two DVI slots, you can see right there, and this little wimpy little fan to cover probably the main processing unit. Um, I don't even rec recognize what company this is, things that this thing is from. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, got some DDR RAM, 512 megs of it, ECC. Um, just that kind of an interesting little thing. And a couple of fans. Um, you can't really reuse this and look how tiny it is. Like, I'm gonna compare it to one of the base fans. I mean, look at that. Way smaller. Tiny, tiny. I thought that was kind of interesting. And then if you look, this was a workstation, top of the line, and the best they had for the CPU is just a heat sink. So. What year were you born? Pretty crazy. That's what we're doing right now, guys. So we're about to put in the um, M2 so you know what SSD, the memory, and the CPU. Memory is going to be going on right here. CPU goes um, right there. And the M2 card is going to be going in right here. It's important to do these these, these three things first because they are the um, most critical things and it's most important to kind of get that in before you get any of the other cards in in this area. So I'm going to go and get going with that. Get that plugged in like that. That's at a 30 degree angle. And you, have, and you have to bend, kind of, it, it seems like it's bending, but you're not. Mm -hmm. and then you have to put the screw, you have to hold this down. 
and not drop the screw. I've never done an M2 card before, guys. Both of my SSDs that I put in my own computers are SATA, so this is a new experience for me. As you can see, putting in the AMD Ryzen 7 1700, um, winding up all the little pins with the CPU slot. There's a little triangle you can see there in the corner, and it's important that you line that up with the triangle that is denoted there on the corner of the processor slot. So, the cool thing about AMD is once you just slide it in, you just have to pull down this little pin, and the CPU is locked into place until it's not quite that easy. As you guys can see, we've lined up the CPU cooler with the um, the screws for it. We had to remove some brackets that were already on there, um, but once we did, the cooler just goes right on and we should be able to just screw in these screws, as you can see. And so that will lock down the cooler and the CPU will be nice and cool once we connect it to the motherboard and start up the computer. Putting in the RAM right now, you guys can see it's lining it up with the slot and pulling back the pins. And as we push it in, the pins click into place as you can see. You just repeat that as you go down, installing all 64 gigs. Alrighty, so if you look in here, guys, uh, we've got some of the cabling already set up as we have. Um, the motherboard now secured inside the case. Um, it's really important that you do get the CPU, the memory, if you have um, this type of SSD all put in. Um, we installed the IO shield, help, basically just guides the ports on the back. That is an option, and it'll, but it helps keep dust out at the cost of airflow. Um, and so, yeah, we got, so far we have USB 3 connections, um, various power on, reset, all that stuff, and we have um, a couple of SATA cables set up for the drives. That's all we got so far, and we're gonna go ahead and get in the rest of the PCI cards and the cables, and waiting on um, just a CD disc, and we should be able to get it going. Another quick status update. Now I have the PSU in and secured. As you can see, there's four screws holding it on the back. Um, that's basically what's going to hold, be holding that in. Um, we got a couple more cables attached. Um, what, you're gonna, what we're going to do now, is we're going to be taking our uh, graphics card and getting it in so that way we can, when we attach all the power cables and everything else, uh, we can work around it and do the optimal cable management. So, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this. As you guys can see, we have the GPU in, lined up. It's a massive MSI 2 fan setup. Um, yeah, pretty nice. Just lined up, screwed it on, attached it, and now we've got the back panel. Some awesome video output, so this is going to be a fun, fun to boot system. Alrighty, so we have all of the main cables going now. Oh, flashlight's really helping, but that's the main motherboard power. Um, we got CPU power connected right up there. Um, graphics cards plugged in right here, and that's all going down to our PSU down here. So the last thing that we need to do is get power going to the drives, make sure that all the cabling is bundled up out of the way and connected to everything that needs to be connected to, and we should be able to boot and install our operating system. So we're looking pretty good right now in terms of everything getting put together. We've got a zip tie up there to keep um, cables out of the CPU cooler fan. Um, these cables are mostly organizing themselves. We might do a bigger zip tie setup and bunch them all together. Got to connect one more fan and then everything should be ready for boot. And look, big zip ties have arrived. Everything is set up and plugged in. We're about to do the first test once we get it connected to our monitor that we have here. But yeah, very exciting. 
You guys are probably wondering, oh, what? Now he has a monitor and everything set up? Yes, we do. We've gotten a LG super wide 29 inch monitor set up. It's just pick some random keyboards and mice we had lying around. Uh, we've got everything, all the necessities plugged in, keyboard, mouse, um, display, and likewise, power to the monitor and to um, the, the display connection. Now, we don't have any of the paneling back on yet, but we do have everything we need to run. So we're about to do our maiden voyage to this build. Okay, so we're about to press the power button on the first, for the first time, start it up and see what happens. So, it's exciting. Whoa, look at this. Isn't that cool? It has interior lights. Oh, I didn't know the Ryzen fans did that actually. I didn't either. That's pretty sick. You gotta turn on the monitor. Yeah, I'll probably need to. It's a bottom switch. Where's the switch? Let me switch bottom. on the monitor. Right below the LG, LG label. Well, it's booting. Fingers crossed, it's booting right. What kind is it? And then it gets through the post. Yay! That's what it's supposed to look like! Yes! Now press F1. New CPU installed. F1? Yep, F1, going in the bias. The screen is not at the recommended resolution. That's okay. Okay, there we go. Man! We are in the bias. They get this, they make this fancier every year. It's got this dude animation. Dude, around. look, it's starting to go light speed. It is. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video today. It was a whole lot of fun putting this computer together with my grandpa and his friend and um, kind of getting some more experience under my belt. I've previously built two computers on my own and helped a friend build, friend build one, but um, learned something new every time. It's been a lot of fun. Currently, we're installing Windows on it. Um, it's pretty awesome. It doesn't have force fields and levitation like my grandpa hoped it would. But uh, it does too. Comes pretty close. I so, can. with that, guys, um, we're gonna end this video. Thank you again so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up, um, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Uh, let me know what you thought of the video in the comment section down below. And um, if you didn't like the video, please go ahead and leave a dislike. Um, either stay unsubscribed or unsubscribe from my channel. But um, let me know what I'm doing wrong. I can get better. So, with that, guys, peace out. Thank you.